In what could be a sign of things to come, Vivek Ramaswamy's campaign has stopped old TV ad spending less than a month before Iowa and New Hampshire. What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back in with a new video today. It is time that we talk about the 2024 Republican presidential primary because everyone, and what could be a sign of things to come, Vivek Ramaswamy's campaign has just stopped old TV spending less than a month before Iowa in New Hampshire. That's right. They're off the air. Now, usually when a campaign does this like DeSantis' campaign did, it either means, or usually, meant two things. One, the campaign is out of money. In DeSantis' case, that's what happened. Or... It's a sign that the campaign is about to pack it up and drop out, which that's happened a couple times, especially this year. But it sounds like that this isn't actually Ramaswamy dropping out. This is a weird situation where he's trying something a bit different and diverting old ad spending on a different front. Now, before we continue with that, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Guys, just for a dollar a month, you can join Real American. This is the best way to support the daily content that we all know and love. So I hope and recommend you join the channel today. Now, let me be clear about one thing. I am not saying the campaign is for sure going to drop out or the campaign is, you know, trying something different. I don't know for 100% certainty, but based on what the campaign is saying, they're saying that they're, they're not giving up and that they're trying something a bit different with a month ago before Iowa. Now, we'll get to that in a second because I actually have my own opinions on that front, but we'll just get into it. Vivek Ramaswamy's presidential campaign has stopped spending money on television ads and does not have any TV ad reservations booked, according to his campaign and data from an ad tracking firm. As recently as the first full week of December, the GOP Entrepreneurs campaign spent more than 200000 on TV ads, which, for a presidential campaign that's kind of small, usually, yeah, and I know that it was just Iowa New Hampshire, but usually it would be seven figures or very close to that here it's 200,000 so he was never spending that much on ads in the first place but he has but in recent weeks really hasn't last week it spent just 6,000 on ads all of it on tv figures from the firm ad impact show so the campaign already was kind of tuning down the tv ads which at first you wouldn't think makes much sense because according to every expert on Twitter, oh, ad spending is everything. If you don't spend everything on ads, you're automatically done. Which, here's my opinion on this. And this is what I think the Ramaswamy campaign is going to do. I don't think TV ads, especially this close to, say, Iowa, are that useful. TV ads are very important, don't get me wrong, especially early on. For name recognition, for getting your message out there right away, all of that. But there's been plenty of studies done that shows, uh, yeah, no. Let's say after the primary, or just say, you know, right after you announced. That's when it's the most effective to spend money on ads. Look at Tim Shahi in Montana. He was at 1% or whatever before he announced. He spent a lot of money in ads right away, which was smart on his front. And now he's already at 30, 40%. So TV spending is important, but the consultants and the people on Twitter, they think it's everything. It's not. When you get to a certain point, everybody's seen the same ad 50 times. Everybody knows, at least a large chunk of people know, who Vivek Ramaswamy is in Iowa and New Hampshire. And the campaign, and this is what I think they're doing, they're going to divert this ad spending. And Ramaswamy put up a good tweet that I'll show you in a second that I think demonstrates that he kind of understands that these TV ads, 
yeah, they're important early on, but at some point, they don't move the needle. I don't get why this is some complicated thing. Ad spending does not automatically mean you lose or win. It does if it's very early and you get blasted by them, say Doug Mastriano, where he spent nothing and he got what? Bet, uh, Shapiro spent like 40 million in like a week? Stuff like that. Yeah, that's important, but when you're spending millions upon millions of dollars, at some point, and especially when you do several debates nationally, at some point, the TV ads, they're not going to do anything. Ramaswamy's campaign says it is still spending money on ads, just not on TV. And this is what I think they're going to do. Well, But I'll show you that in a second. We are focused on bringing out the voters we've identified. Best way to reach them is using addressable advertising, mail, text, live calls, and doors to communicate with our voters on Vic's vision for America, making their plan a caucus and turning them out. Teresa McLaughlin, the campaign's press secretary, told NBC News. As you know, this isn't what most campaigns look like. We've intentionally structured this way so that we have the ability to nimble, be nimble and hyper-targeted in our ad spending, McLaughlin added. Now, that's why things happening here. I don't think Ramaswamy's going to drop out. In fact, he made this tweet uh, just like an hour after this news broke. Presidential TV ad spending is idiotic, low return of investment, and a trick that political consultants use to bamboozle candidates who suffer from low IQ. We're doing it differently, spending money in a way that follows data. Apparently a crazy idea in U.S. politics. Big surprise coming on January 15th. That's the day of Iowa. This does not sound like he's dropping out or his campaign's on the brink. I think he seems actually kind of confident in, hey... We're going to be trying something that no other campaign really has done before. I mean, to be fair, Cruz kind of did in 2016, Obama in 2008, kind of. But I think Ramaswamy's campaign, they're taking a very unorthodox approach. With a month ago, they're saying, to hell with all the TV ads. We're going to be trying something completely different. Focus everything on a ground game. Right, getting people out to vote, you know, hey, knocking on doors and f- target voters, not just do what TV ads do and target everyone, which is a big problem with them because TV ads, yeah, it targets everyone, but it doesn't really help you. Focus on targeted ads such as on social media, such as knocking on doors. This isn't like the DeSantis campaign where they're coping and saying, oh, well, we're investing so much in the round game and yada, yada. You're just out of money. That's why you did that. Here, Ramaswamy has plenty of money. He is a very wealthy dude. And he's trying to take an approach of these TV ads, they're not going to change anything. With a month ago, the only thing you can really do is knock at every single door and change people's minds through that or get them out the caucus. So they're taking a very grassroots... They're trying to do something that no presidential campaign really has done before. Again, campaigns have tried. It's sometimes shown success, but the problem is it was used in small doses. So we don't really have that much evidence of it working on a grand scale like Ramaswamy's campaign is doing. The shift in strategy comes less than a month before the January 15th Iowa caucuses, the first contest in the GOP nomination. In early November, Ramaswamy's campaign announced they had a plan to spend over $10 million on ads, broadcast cap, uh, cable, radio, digital, and direct mail in Iowa and New Hampshire. Since that announcement, the campaign has spent $2.2 million on TV, digital, and radio ads, according to Ad Impact. And they must have realized this isn't working. Why are we spending all this money on TV ads, which cost a lot? which don't work, I've said this many times, I don't think it works. So it's like, you know what? Let's go all in on this digital front. Let's focus on a ground game. Not many campaigns have done that. Again, there's been some circumstances where they've tried, but I think it's much smarter to focus on the digital front. Because even old people, they're using the internet far more than they did 10 years ago. 
And guess what? Ramaswamy has done one thing that no other Republican has done. He's been targeting young voters. And I think this is his own trump card, funny enough. He has a very unique appeal with the younger voters. Because he's been targeting them heavily. And that's what I think he's trying to do here. He's like, you know what? Screw these TV ads. Nobody's paying attention to them anyways. Everybody knows, or at least most people know, who Ramaswamy is. Especially the people that are going to vote. Screw that. Instead of focusing on that, let us focus on getting people out to vote. Let's focus on continuing to target these low propensity young voters. This is a very interesting Hail Mary for this campaign. It seems like they think they have enough support to pull something off here, at least like take second or whatever. So they're like, you know what? Let's try to get every single one of these voters out. We don't need to focus everything on TV ads. Go all in on what we've been trying to do, especially with the TikTok stuff this entire year. Anyways, folks, what do you guys think about this? What do you think about Ramaswamy's campaign going all in on the digital front or at least on a ground game? I think it's smart and it's not... I don't think it's necessarily a sign of desperation, just the campaign realizing, hey, these TV ads don't work. It's not like DeSantis where they're out of money because they are. Here it's, they got plenty of money. It just, eh, we got to try something different. If you guys did enjoy this video, smash the like button down below. Subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Thank you so much for watching, Godspeed to all of you.